Hello, I'm Julie White, Chief Executive for NHS Dumfries and Galloway. Yesterday afternoon, we were contacted by Police Scotland to make us aware that the cyber criminals who had hacked our NHS systems back in February had followed through on their threat to publish additional information relating to NHS Dumfries and Galloway on the dark web. We're now aware that significant quantities of both patient and staff identifiable information has been published on the dark web. Due to the scale of this data breach and the complexity of the data involved, we're unable at this time to contact individual patients regarding this data breach. We are working through a process, however, of prioritising those people we consider to be at greatest risk from the data breach and as soon as we have further information we will make contact with those individuals. What we, the type of information that has been stolen includes things like letters between um, clinicians, appointment letters, outputs from clinics like lab results or x-ray results. What we're fairly confident in at the moment though is that this information does not include full patient records like the type that are held by GPs as they're held on a different clinical system. I'm aware that patients and staff of course would wish to be contacted individually and I can give you my assurance that as a board we will work through the information that we have relating to the data breach and make sure that we contact individuals wherever possible. However for now I would encourage all members of the public and all our members of staff to be extra vigilant and take extra care and report any attempts to access your data, your health data or your personal data to Police Scotland by calling 101. I apologise to all members of our community, to the public and to our staff and to our patients that this has happened to NHS Dumfries and Galloway. And I will give you my assurance that myself and the team will work incredibly hard to mitigate the risks against this. We have been working with external organisations who are experts in this field to give us assurances that our systems are as secure as they possibly can be at this time in order to mitigate the risk of any further incursions. But I would say right now we can never be 100% sure of this but we are confident that our systems are as secure as they can be at this stage. Thank you.